Hey, what's up, people? Michael here. If you want to partner your YouTube channel up, check out the link in the description. All right, all right. What's going on, people? Mike here. And we are checking out Life is Strange. I've been hearing a lot about this game and even saw some comments every now and then telling me that I should check it out. So if you've seen my Walking Dead videos or... Um, yeah, I guess The Walking Dead would probably be the best comparison to this, the Telltale Games version. If you enjoy that, chances are you'll enjoy this too. You know, it's crazy. I actually had this on my PlayStation for quite some time now. I just never, never started it up. But I do have episode one, so this will be episode one. So supposedly you can make decisions. Oh, here we go. Features player choice that consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. You know I love making choices. Oh my. Oh lord, oh lord. like we find ourselves for some reason in the rain. Where am I? What's happening? I ask myself that every day. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Oh, I hope. Please let me It's make like it. Alan Wake. I hopefully we make it there. Please let her make it there. Almost looks like a cartoon. Weird kind of cartoon. I wonder if I can run. It's a big storm. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Right, which way do we go? You walking towards the edge. Holy shit. Yeah, that would probably mean the end of the world to me too. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces. I thought time. I played this a little bit, but he could be talking about photography. If that's the case, then I didn't, because okay. I don't remember none of this. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and hey, sure it's a black a guy. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. Let's look at our work. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Oh, what's wrong with it? Hey, Arbus. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She I haven't kept up with my journal right? as much as I should. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I do love my analog camera. Seriously, though. I, could I should take a quick picture now. And capture you in a moment of desperation. Photography and class. any one of you could do that to me. I wish I had a photography Shh. class. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? 
Um, I have no clue. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. The hell he's Is so mad anybody for? anybody <laughs> here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to get a photo portrait was done by Robert. Sorry, Cummings. Max. No more selfies right now. You can find out all about him in your Let's textbook the case. or even online. I can't. Oh, class over. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I just see what we got in here. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Is that what she doing? Yeah, she's showing that ass too. She's showing that ass. I just see what we got here. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in Of course, Victoria has to have the- I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. She about to get everything. $5,000 camera right there. Computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. It's dope. It's good, Kate. It's good, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. <laughs> Unless you're Victoria. The class dope head. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. She looks stoned out of her mind. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Oh wow. Purge. This I wonder if this is high school or college. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's high school. Got me a trophy. That's what I'm talking about. Now what's going on over here? I'm gonna just let y'all talk a little bit more. See what else I can discover. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Indeed, indeed. You can never escape the lighthouse here. That dream you had, though. So vivid. Uh-oh. The porn camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You're gonna have to see her after school. You might have to see her about some shit. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. I just better be college, cause I know you're not trying to like fuck the professor. I can't speak to her, but I can speak to you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um. Okay. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Such, such harsh feelings towards me, like I'm the outcast. 
Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bit. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. I don't know what you're talking about. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses? And look at that vintage rangefinder! What? She is geeking out. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. She is geeking out. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Clearly. <laughs> That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. It's dope, dope, dope. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. See, if we had classes that like that, it would have been dope. Amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces. We have was like pictures. the usual. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Same old boo. When I don't suck. Someday. Same old, same old. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have you this to the is room. definitely high school. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Like was that a student? Or <laughs> staff. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking. Oh, high school. High school, high school, high school. Those. I gotta, gotta turn that off. <laughs> Cause uh, they're not claiming this. At least for right now. Oh, you know what? Maybe just not so loud.
This seems like something. Like something like bully, but it's not boarding school what actually neither. Happened to her. Are these the same girls? Good thing I left my AK at home. With my AK? <laughs> Alright, what else are we doing? What's up? see my meltdown except for me <sighs> just relax stop torturing yourself you have a gift She just needs to be loved. Somebody love this girl. When the door girl. closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Do I get to do it? Do I get to take the photo? Of course, I don't get to do it. Polaroid though. Oh no, nah, this is a girl's bathroom. What's going on in here? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> what? You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk-ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around oh, with. Whoa. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in Why hella people, more man. trouble for this than drugs. <laughs> Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. No! Damn. Shot the shit out of her. Whoa. What the fuck? What is going on? How, how can that be? What is I going was on? I in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. 
from color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of Damn, a not broken camera? Capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Let's find out. Why Arbus? Because Prince of Persia. Of hopeless fake. Prince of Persia. Alright, that's see what's going on here. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep it together, Max. So I feel like totally I haunted I by the eyes of those sad mothers and When I took my selfie, Jefferson so asked me a question. Right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Alright. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I wasn't paying attention. I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. All right, the first so American to Gary. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I don't know. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named. Louise Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Let's do it. Going straight out the door. We won't have time to talk. If you're submitting your photo for the company. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Damn, damn, damn. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Alright, so we're not gonna try to leave. Victoria, you still have to we're do gonna your go homework. directly to him. Even if you're submitting Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. 
I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Girl. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. I wish I had that. Make bottle. sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. We out of here. Now to save this girl from getting shot. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Gotta save her. Yo, Gotta save her. I hate that science class. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. Ripped up the I photo. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. Took the photo. And I took a photo. Here he comes. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. You gotta figure out something. What are you doing? Fire Come alarm. on, put that Ever thing down. Tell me what to do. I need a hammer so to break it open. Of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Shit, oh, I, I missed. need a hammer to break it open. Okay, so we still get the item. I right, bet, bet, bet. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Just saved her life. Another shitty day. You got a pistol. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Hey, get the fuck up out of here. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. Don't what leave the evidence. What is going on? I right, fuck it. Do not freak out. Your photos. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Black principal. I don't really want to talk to you, so can I go the opposite way? Fuck. Guess we gotta talk to him. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's Can't the truth. snitch. Can't snitch. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around You're the one who wanted to You've talk to me. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. I ain't even do nothing. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. I, yes, I, I could but, rewind and actually tell him the truth. I don't. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I don't I can know. Never figure out what he's thinking. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. I don't see it going too good if I tell him the truth. We gonna see.
Do I want to tell him the truth? Okay. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. The moment of truth. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, Nothing. Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank my name better not come up. My, attention. my name That's better it? not come up. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this, this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Damn. So I might as well not tell him then. We just gonna go with the option of, you know, keeping to ourselves. Snitches get stitches. You look a little str- I just got- Fuck it, we out of here. Don't know nothing. Ain't see nothing, ain't hear nothing. You don't get off them damn electronics. Going to an academy must be fun. <laughs> like mini college this is grant you look extremely creepy for some reason hi miss grant excuse me max i know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition but would you do miss grant a favor and hear me out sure sure i always have time for you what's the petition david mattson our chief of security wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. crazy. Say I that get for why schools should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Because she's black. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to night? Ain't got no booty, girl. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Well, actually, without surveillance, that might have consequences. <laughs> I hope I made the right decision about the petition. I was just signing shit, to be honest, but uh, I guess we'll find out in the future. Missing people still missing. What exactly do I have to do? Posters. Blackwell. Academy. So Brooke. Hi, Brooke. What's going on? Let me guess. 
You want to fly my drone? Is that slang for like... Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Oh, girl. You're not about to play me like that. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracies. Should she still think I'm stupid? We're not even gonna talk to you yet. We might need you in the future. Somebody send me an email. Huh? What the fuck is this? Huh? What's going on here? Me mean a lot. All right, cool. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where's my flash drive at? I mean, where's my dorm at? Warren's flash drive. But where is the flash drive? <clears throat> Can I just snatch this bike? I figured as much. I don't. I feel like there's people I don't want to miss talking to. Yo, Justin, check out the Max. Come to Thrash. Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Damn, the rejection is real. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Tray flip. No slide. I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Hey. Like it was nothing. Hey, you're not really a skate Betty. Uh, I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Yeah, let's chill later. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Just made me a friend. Now who... Okay, the dorms are this way. The camera keeps going up because there's something wrong with my controller, but, you know, I got a new one coming in soon. What up, Evan? Evan? Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Um... Eugene Smith? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. You thought I wouldn't get that right. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. All right, let's try Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. 
I'd be honored, sir. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for letting me see your book. To the dorms. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. All right, let's see if they talk to me. <coughs> no, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. The fact that you call me bro, though. Is this my dorm? I imagine so. Not gonna get out my way? Here we go. Can y'all move? Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your yeah. wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> so, get the fuck out of my way. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold that pose. Okay. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, fucked up. why don't you go fuck your selfie? Yeah. That's... Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Fucked up. I guess it has something to do with the sprinklers, I suppose. What can we do about it? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to give Victoria... I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Hmm. So how do I do that? The sprinkler room? What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look <laughs> great. I can't even chill on the steps. <clears throat> you mad or not? Nah? What else is in here? Might be useful. Uh-oh, I should get out. Oh, maybe there's something else I could do. Pour some paint on top of her. That's what it's looking like to me. No. What can I do? So do you understand English? Get lost. Not exactly what I wanted to do. It's definitely something to do with that paint, though. This paint. Maybe throw the ball. Dude. Nope. Nice, bro. It's gotta be something. Nope. Ow. Is it yeah. you? Nope. What can we do with that paint bucket? Yeah. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Stop. Cancel. Cancel. I do not be meaning to do that. Let's go back even further. Maybe it's something to do. 
about to get a job. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Ha ha ha. And he looked like a total freak. Nice, bro. <laughs> like I hate this job. Hate my wife, hate my life. Hate my kids. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just it's water. Just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay. Ooh. No way! <laughs> no fucking no way! Funny shit. Oh, Sammy, I'm oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Awesome. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get some so towels. We'll get. be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. That's Don't mess with get. Max, bitches. That's what you get. Can I laugh at her? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Ah, decisions, decisions. I always be the bigger person. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. True. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. No. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. After you just clown me. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. It always pays to be the bigger person. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and, and the go fuck your selfie. Yeah. <laughs> that was me, Sophie. but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. True, true, true. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. It's not always about doggy dog, you know? Might come in future. Might come in handy in the future. Dirty Sprite Legendary. Hurry, Courtney. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who. Man, people here are merciless. Wow. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Where's my room at? Okay. Girls dorm is definitely some shit. Must be fun to live in a dorm though. Kind of. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just I figured. more stressed. Freshman. What year is this that you really still carry around a Polaroid camera? But I guess ain't nothing really wrong with that. Things got vintage. My mom. My birthday. Wow, the principal though. <laughs> wow, just cause I didn't snitch. Ain't that some shit. So many things in my room. I don't even know like what to do. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? 
I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Dang, for photographers, this must be real, like, you know, it get deep. To us, we probably just see a photo, but to them, it's like a whole story. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Wow. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Just great. I'm gonna water these plants. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. <laughs> baby mama? <laughs> wow. I didn't know that was a mainstream term. Look, book, 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 guitar, cookies. I guess that's it. What's in the drawer? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Some birthday this is. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Is that where I gotta go? Welcome to uh, the real drama queens of Blackwell. There we go. Answer, you wuss. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. I guess somebody cheated on her boyfriend. Hey, Juliet. You Is want or on her? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh Ouch. shit. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Fuck, I'm supposed to know. Mm. Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. <laughs> By the way, Juliet Watson. I knew that. Rewind. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Juliet. Max. This is so stupid. What did she do? What didn't she do? Ouch. Uh, that's why I'm talking. What's my life? Watson, girl. Juliet Watson. Duh. Uh, I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. That's Straight you to beat her ass. <laughs> I swear I didn't do anything. Oh, funny as shit. Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. All right, so where's Victoria's room? Got me doing all this. Nice room. Where would the evidence be? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. I just your bitch in some Gucci flip flops. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Givenchy. Damn it, just keep looking down. 
she's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> Why not? She's rich. Yes, I get it. Enter the vort. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out wow. of here. Wow. How do I print it? I'm, I feel like I'm gonna get caught. But I can't get caught. I can just rewind time. This better <laughs> convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I don't really see this going good. So hopefully I can find another way to do this because I'm actually going to be like, why were you in my room? Blah, blah, blah. Where you get the letter you using my computer? Yada, yada, yada. Juliet, I guess this. not. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now That's let's crazy. see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. The fuck is that? Oh, uh, Max, shit. That's mine. Thank you. My bad. <laughs> You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I think I it's something I needed to know, though. To her. Ah, females. Females. Let me see what we got. This is both sad and pathetic. Okay. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Jesus. There's that damn flash drive. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. La la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. <laughs> don't see anything, right? Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Let's see what she wants to talk about. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. A rumor. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. True? Now I feel too wiped out to leave. I feel like we should have talked more. Hey, Dana. Serious. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. 
It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Mm, who then? Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. True. I guess we, uh... Now I feel too wiped out to leave. I guess we left out on a good note. I ain't have to look at that. I ain't like I have to look at that. But I should use... Her computer, though. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. You should open it. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. Are right, we out? Deuce, deuce. I bet. I'm on the way, cuz. This shit. Ow! <laughs> Damn, I better rewind. Get lost. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. I bet I was texting. Ironically, same time he's texting. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Who did he hurt? Fuck this shit. Ow! Damn it. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Hey. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. That's a good consequence, though. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. <laughs> what a bitch. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. So you make friends. We should hang out more. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Alright, whatever. Didn't want to do any interviews anyway. Not with your punk ass. Am I going the right way? So oh. don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Yeah, people don't like the, uh... People don't like the security guard. I'm gonna need this in the future. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. True. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. She might be mad, but that photo gonna come in handy later. Step in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. But nobody would have believed me. I could rewind and try something different. Will I still have the photo though? I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna need that photo for proof on why he should get fired. So, yep. Oh well.
waiting Man, in the parking lot. I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. The little things that count. Yo, Max, check it out. And there's Warren. Did he actually look at Warren in his Wayback Machine? He's a brave man. Okay. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Friend zoned. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The movie booty. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Mm. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If they don't just have sex already. Lucky. Speaking of Look at all this sexual tension in here. my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Can't just talk about it yet. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, One day. this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Uh -oh. One of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Nothing. Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. You need to take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh, nah. Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody You'd have tells to see me, me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. Wow. You again. Go! Go! I got this! <laughs> yeah. Whoop that ass. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! 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 
That's crazy. What's the odds? I just saved my best friend's Nathan life. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Yeah. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, True. girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Who's Mark Jefferson? Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. True. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. True. So where are we even going? I just gonna get into a fight with... I just gonna let it do again to a fight for you and leave him. These guys. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Are you serial? Not cereal? everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Illuminati triangle in the car. Nice little house. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some my music while seems... I Oh, medicate. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, um, why does he seem so much older? Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day up. painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. It won't play without any power. So where the power at? Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. There's the power strip. Max?
Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. We gonna see that Drake, that Illuminate. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into Play these something days. something now. Oh. I gotta find a CD. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. True. So how do I play this? I wonder CD? what Chloe keeps in here. Pictures, evidently. Oops. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Alright, so that's just not gonna play nothing. Let me just look at all the other stuff. Too pretentious. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. True. But this radio now, though. let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. But I love how funky and outdated it is. She even covered it in punk stickers because Chloe doesn't give a shit. Is this a desk or a storage space? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. True. I mean, I don't want to just use her. Uh... Chloe's trash overfloweth. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? I don't know. Not much. You know me. I like but to observe the world plan? more than participate. I can't say I know you anymore. Maybe you love to go clubbing every night. Can you see me at a rave? I'd dose those candy-flipping morons and watch them twitch into a DJ dance death rattle. Take a photo of that. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Music, though. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Why can I not play anything? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She okay. looks super stoned. <laughs> really? Super, 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 super. I think this junk swallowed her discs. So I have to find the CDs, I see. I don't wanna just look in your trash can, but you know. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She, she was like, fuck trouble. that. Fuck the law. All right, it's only one thing left. For the most part, I'm not trying to just look through her shit. We had such a blast drawing these together. No CDs in there. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. No CDs in there. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. My bad. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. Damn. I can't rewind time. I should be able to. But. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret... Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. That explains that. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. True. But these music CDs, though.
Finally. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. Gay! After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. Hmm. <laughs> So she took my place, huh? So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks... Your mom tried to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. True. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Smoke some more weed. So depressing. Get medicated. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. True. That crankage. Anyway. You can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I wish I could smoke in my house. Sometimes it'd be like that. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Alone? The tools are still downstairs. You got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. It's your world, just try and get a nut. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. True. Hard times for everybody. Hard times don't last, but tough now, this people is do. The I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize she had my number. She's just gonna keep telling me how cool blah 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 was. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. You got an opinion about everything. I believe she said the garage. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Nothing. This is so lame. I mean, that's just one spot. Keep looking. 
Chloe stepped at his head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? True. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Stepdad, though. A gun rack? Damn. Hmm. One's missing. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. It's the kid. That's who got it. Can I turn that off? Can't leave no clues. Got TVs everywhere. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Wow. Hopefully nobody sneaks up on me. So how we go ahead and close that? What's this right here? These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Well, I then. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Would have been nice to see what he got in there. Fingers. What's in them, though? Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Oh, nah. What's going on? What is going on? So we move on. Learning a lot of things here. Trophy. Fuck about no trophy. Food. Damn, look like they ready for like a zombie apocalypse. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. But where are these tools though? Nope. Pretty sure I need to stay in here. Find Look at all that food. Tools. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. So where's the shit I need at? Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Alright, so I might not be in here. Where would that be then? Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Where are these tools? Just so nobody thinks we played their message. Bruh. I 
can feel autumn pushing out the summer. These tools can be anywhere. There's no reason to be back here. Alright, so it's gotta be in the garage or otherwise I'm tripping. But where? We looked at everything already. Yes, score. Somebody got that deadly aim. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Why can't reset? Man, I should have done that before they fell. True. Mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Indeed. Or tries to kill herself. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Indeed now I did. the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No. No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. I'm glad Thank I God. didn't. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's where she get her weed from. Why is she even there if she don't even go to the school? I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. 
That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Okay. Or take my picture <laughs> okay. with a new camera. <laughs> that bony white ass. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Why not? Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off. Turn it uh -oh. off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. <laughs> Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Where? This door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not... Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Open this door. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid really? gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. <laughs> grass. You're tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Oh. Uh. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Damn. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was True. such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if- Can you go already? I want to get the hell out of here. When deer's attack. I haven't been here in forever. 
So why do I feel like I was just here? Because you woke up there. Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. So where did she go and how did I get here? <laughs> wow. I owe you. My man took a black eye for you. <laughs> it's real so out lucky. here. They can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. True. <sighs> How long has that been here? Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not really? as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always You just told me to stay out of it. Ever since my desperate mom fuck? dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I felt weird taking his photo with Kate, but he was such a bully. Yes, he is. But why was he bullying Kate? She's kind of boring. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Uh, files? I know that look. You peeked. So, dish the dirt. <laughs> Snuff videos? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. It's crazy. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. How long is this episode? First of all. <laughs> I 
Life is strange. If this is destiny, is I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Back. Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Follow the magical deer. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. Oh. So how am I supposed to go around that? It's crazy. Trying to tell me something. I've never seen a storm like this in one hundred years. Oh my lord! The tornado is back. Oh shit! Oh shit! Moly. October 11? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. So something's about to go down in four days. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi? Right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <laughs> That's the solution to everything. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Now you believe me. Now she believes me. I like where this is going.
What's this about? Anyway, yeah. Cryalysis. I think that's the correct name. Correct term for that. Cry Alice. Nope. Cry yet. Who knows? Life is Strange, episode one. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and of course, subscribe. Check out the album in the description. Download that. Let me know what you think. And uh, watch out for episode two coming up. Not a bad game at all.